it's really magical to watch them negotiate these big feelings of need and right. and how to how to prioritize those for themselves and with others. You stated it really well with the need for adults and their their categories and their labels um, mm-hmm. as to how we we prioritize needs and. I think in the outside world, sometimes we end up doing more to hide, to hide mm-hmm. deep, deep needs rather than re- reveal them mm-hmm. with those. Although I will say there is, when we get to the place where we can, we can categorize things with, with diminishing judgment, ever diminishing mm-hmm. judgment, where a label doesn't need to have nuanced meaning to it. It doesn't need to have yeah. a, a, a connotation that implies anything it just it, it is the category that it is right right then naming something helps us to talk about it it helps us hold right. it and particularly when we can allow young people the agency to name a thing mm-hmm. themselves well that was sharing i think that was right. sharing. <laughs> i i think i think this is discrimination when Mm -hmm. we can label it together we can talk about it and Mm -hmm. paulo freire's um pedagogy of the oppressed is really present Mm -hmm. for me with that where it's not just as simple as putting a label on it it's it's agreeing to what that meaning is and whenever possible allowing people and especially young people to name that on their own to to define mm-hmm. to, to define those 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 words those labels for themselves once they can put a name on something then they can mm-hmm. hold it we can and then we can we can hold a discussion about it together right right This is the Agentic Schools Podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg. <laughs>